Hello everybody and welcome back to my F1 2021 career mode. We are now at Austria. If you haven't seen the last one from France, please go back and then check that out because that was quite an eventful race. Um, and I felt like we had some decent pace there but it just... Yeah, it weren't meant to be but either way it was eventful so go check that out and then come back and check this out. Right then, we are at the Austrian Grand Prix and we are trying to qualify. Coming out of the last corner, flinging it round the last two bends and it wasn't particularly an, an impressive lap, especially when you see what Charles Leclerc has just managed and the fact that we're only currently running in 21st does not offer me much confidence at all for the pace we are running here but also we are running some very worn components to which I may need to take a penalty and replace them very soon so that could be a thing but anyway I have completed that lap and it is still P21 so our pace here just not looking fantastic and I'm honest the upgrade pace as well isn't going as fast as we want to so I feel like we could have a very tough race ahead of us and in fact we have managed to qualify P19 after setting a second lap, a third lap in Q1 but eventually it still wasn't enough to get through. This is it then, race day in Spielberg for this year's Austrian Grand Prix. Not long to go before our drivers hurtle off the line and into the first turn, the Nicky Lauda Curve as it was renamed in 2019 in memory of one of Formula One's most beloved figures. The Spielberg circuit then is situated 700 meters above sea level with just 10 corners making up one of the shortest laps of the season. One time around here is a distance of 2.6 miles with the best overtaking chances into turn one or the tight uphill turn three. Also here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. So, let's briefly discuss Lewis Hamilton. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Norris, Ricardo, Charles Leclerc and Perez. Sainz, Gasly, Vettel and Yuki Tsunoda. Ocon, Fernando Alonso, Kimi Raikkonen and Giovinazzi. Verstappen, Mazepin, Mick Schumacher, and Joker. Markelov, Russell, Latifi, and Lance Stroll brings the grid to a close. And with preparations almost... So we've got the five red lights going on here, but I can inform you now that things in this race just didn't really get any better. We're away decently here. We've made a couple of positions up. We've been blocked by Nikita Mazepin. But unfortunately, we are now having some separate issues with our gearbox. As you'll see here, the shifts just aren't happening due to the fact that the gearbox is completely worn. And we aren't are on its sixth race. And we're just, we're just having a multitude of issues with it. As you can see there, it just doesn't go down. No matter how much I'm trying to downshift with it normally I run automatic gears but even then I was pressing the manual buttons just to get something out of the gears that just wasn't happening so as you can see there the field is already streaming ahead of us and we're just losing bucket loads of time as we go into the hairpin um, by lap two you can see there that the field have already got a good few seconds on us um, I wish I could say it was going to get better from there, but the rest of the worn components are now starting to give us a bit of a lack of power as well. So we're struggling for outright pace due to that as well. And I feel like, because of the high wear we had, I feel like this was a race I thought, right, I'm going to run a lot of worn components, potentially sacrifice this race, and hopefully... The next one, which I believe is Silverstone, we can have a good shot at maybe getting a point or two in our home race. Um, 
so at this point the AI was starting to pit and I was starting to make up a couple of positions due to that. Obviously the pace I was running due to the, like I said, the aforementioned worn components and the fact that we just didn't have great pace around there meant that it was until we pitted until we saw another car. But as you can see there, even the Alfa Romeo is going past us like we're standing still. And you can see previously that there was smoke coming out of the back of the car. That, that just says that this engine has had it. So at this point, my primary thought is, okay, hold as many of these up as I can, because that then might help out my teammate Markolov a little bit later in the race. You can see Mazepin there has completely caught up with me. I'm going to the outside to fight him off. He's now going to the inside of me. And, well, that just sums it up. We are being overtaken by Mazepin. I've gone straight off the, gri the grid, the track even. And now I'm getting right into Mazepin's gearbox to have a look for that position back and go round the outside of turn one, which is what we have done. And um, yeah, we are fighting that hard with Mazepin, who's clearly quicker than us. But like I said, my plan here, help out Markolov and help him maybe gain a few places, because you never know what that could amount to. And well, I'm, I, I lost focus for a moment there and I swung straight into Mazepin, which does nobody any favours. I was just frantically defending and then I lost focus and Mazepin is now causing a train which in fact has now held up Markolov so that's done him no favours and the two hatters have now collided. Schumacher just going too quickly there and just not really noticing Mazepin okay. was there and after a while I thought you know what I've been a pest for nothing at this race. I'm just pottering round going a second a lap slower than everyone. I'm just going to retire and save the a components that are good. To secure victory here at the Styrian Alps. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. So yeah, that was it then. I obviously decided at that point I'd had enough of just pottering round when I wasn't really fighting anybody. So, so I thought at that point it was just best to retire and save the components that were still good and that could still be used in another race. But the ones that couldn't had had it, they were shot and like I said, I just wasn't really racing anybody and it wouldn't have made great content. So I just thought, you know what, end the race there. I managed to catch a few highlights. But yeah, that was a miserable day for us. No points from that race, not even a finish. But the next one is Silverstone and I am hoping that we can, we can get some points there by using components that are relatively fresh and using them to maximum power so that we can hopefully get a home point or two or maybe a few but anyway i'm going to leave you with, with with the championship standings thank you so much for watching please do give me a like and a subscribe and join me again the next time i play f1 2021 career mode